All right, so we're getting. <laughs> we're ready. All right, so we are going to take a tour of Red Creek's new clinic building. The drywall is up. First thing we have here is a small room with no entrance into the building. This will be our hour after hours drop off room. And we go in the main entrance. Cool, huh? Yeah. We go in the main entrance. And this room will be our intake area where people can bring animals in. You can see up here the design of how the desk is going to be. This small room, it will be a public bathroom. Then we walk into the people area of the room. We have an area for our staff and volunteers to rest and relax. Maybe we'll be putting some beds in there so people can feed animals during the night. I'm kidding. This room will be the administrative office. Then we have another bathroom. And then we have a long area of just room after room after room. These are small rooms. Each one of these rooms will be an animal holding area. Each one will be multi-purpose. We can put caging in them. Uh, or if we have a larger animal that needs a lot of space, the room itself can serve as its enclosure. Here's another one. And this one here is the reptile room and we have our first bathtub in there for snapping turtles. An exit in the back and some more rooms. Hope I'm not making everybody dizzy. Here we have two more of these small rooms. What's really cool about this is we can separate species. We can keep the predators away from the prey. Uh, we can quarantine animals in their own area. Here's another one. And here is a very a large one. This is most likely going to be for raccoons because we get in over 100 baby raccoons a year that end up needing to be hand-raised. Then we come out of here and we make a left. That's half of the building. <laughs> And we walk down this hall and we come into this big open area. We come over here and we have two small rooms. One will be our laboratory with our microscopes and centrifuge where we can do blood testing and urinalysis and, and such. The other is for storage. And then this area is a wash bay. Kind of like a huge shower room where we can power wash caging right inside the building. It has a drain right in the floor. We have our utility closet that will have our heating and electric. And you can see they're already getting ready to run, to put in the electrical panel. All the electric's been run. All of the electric in the building is in conduits. So if we end up with a couple little critters loose in the building, we don't have to worry about wiring. And then this area right here, this large area, is going to be our kitchen. To the left where Philip is will be our refrigerators. Along this wall will be our sinks and countertops for preparing food. And this corner is reserved for a walk-in freezer. Right now, Red Creek is, needs like four or five chest freezers, so we're going to have one big walk-in freezer. This large area right here is going to be our raptor holding area where we will have veterinary stainless steel caging uh, in three rows for the numerous birds of prey we get in. Then we have a little nursery room right here uh, that is going to be for animals that need constant care. And this room here will be our new treatment and intensive care room. And then we actually come back out to our reception area where we started with our really cool L-shaped desk area. So this is the beginning of 
the new Red Creek building and your very first tour. Pretty awesome.